She can be extremely scary when she's mad. That's on me for keeping everybody too long, but good effort here. Opening was a little chaotic because we were like cleaning up for the meeting, taking people's orders, and like trying to set up the kitchen kind of all at the same time. But um, luckily, like the first customers that came in to order were like our usual people. They've been here multiple times, and like I know the girl, and I brought her food out, and I was like, I give you some extra tenders, and she was super cool. She's like, Don't even worry about it, girl. And I was like, Oh, thanks. You guys got a line to the door. My God. So I don't know what boop ass Wi Fi Kwame's got. It's some spectrum, like, he's paying $5 a day for that. It's terrible. Because at the same time, like 1 p.m. sharp, every day it just cuts out. And then we went back to the caveman days. I was writing people's orders down. Hey, no soul stuff on the mild one, no pickle on the soul one. So we just like take the orders on the offline mode. That means we're taking every person's order. And like usually that's like annoying, not like a huge pain, but we had a line to the door and then the Wi-Fi jump. So today was a little, Kwame was out there with his lucky fin taking orders. I don't even know, like, uh, he makes me nervous with that. Hoping he's using his good arm, but I mean, he was doing the thing. The Wi-Fi first, in order for it to do it offline. Mm. Okay, now we're good. All right. And then, then the Wi-Fi came back on, and then I looked over, Kwame was still taking people's orders with the music playing, and I was like, you know it's back on, right? And he was just in the zone, taking orders, writing them down, taking orders. Hey, four and two. Hey, four and two. Thank you. That's how they used to take the orders here. Like it all, they were all written out. So a lot of the older people are like, oh, this is the back to the bread and butter, our basics that we're used to. But for me, I'm kind of like, well, <laughs> okay, like this makes it so different. Got to keep going up, right? We're hitting the accuracy points. It seems like today, I don't think many people have come up missing something. At least I haven't seen any today. Here's that two and two I called. Keep it moving, people. We got fries behind. We kind of got bum rush. It was weird for a Sunday. Sundays usually start slower, but we started earlier and then kind of died in the middle. And then had it, once it started raining, of course we had the the Uber tickets from the rain. But that that seems to always happen here. So. Aren't you not supposed to like go through a parking lot just to go at the exit? That's illegal. You're not supposed to take a shortcut through a parking lot. No, you're not. The firemen just did it. Well, they're allowed. No, they're not. They're not allowed to break the law unless the sirens are on. These f***ing firefighters are breaking the law in front of me. Hi guys, welcome in. Hey, are you allowed to break the law without the sirens on? Oh my gosh. What's up? Are you allowed to break the law without the sirens on? No. You're not? Well, I saw you take a shortcut through the parking lot. I saw it at the corner of my eye and I was like, damn, that's crazy. If my house is on fire, I want y'all to do that. And I, I wasn't even, I didn't even make a joke to them. I just brought up the fact that they broke the damn law. And then the, they all like turned to the driver and were like, oh, bitch, like what the fuck? And then he was like, I don't care. They thought it was funny. The driver, he didn't really care. Um, oh God, Liam, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes Liam has a way of not knowing a time and place for everything. And sometimes he picks the wrong moments to like interject and intervene. I need a shirt that says head manager at Cow and Cheese just right on the back, you know what I mean? Okay. I thought you hated the name Cow and Cheese. But I'm a manager there, you know? I might not hate the name, but I love the people, my people as the manager, my coworkers. We're out there in the entertainment industry, the hospitality industry, cow and cheese. 
Coming soon, summer 2023. Hey, at least he was listening. Turns out, Cow and Cheese is like three minutes from my house, and I talked to Kwame, and I was like, dude, this is real, by the way. I talked to him, and I was like, let me be the manager, right? Because that's, that's the paraphrase, and that's what I said. And he was like, yeah, you're the manager. And so I'm the manager of Cow and Cheese. It's not out yet. Summer 2023, we're opening uh, next to Luke something in Maitland, Florida. Summer 2023, be there, be square. How's your Easter going, Joe? Not good. Why isn't your Easter going good? Because I'm working. Do I want to go tell the employees to do their job, or do I want to have like, internal peace? I think they're kind of well. They're kind of doing nothing in the front when there's customers in the lobby. It's kind of making me furious, actually. So like when I see things that I'm like, no, no, like stop that or like please just do your job. I can't really just let people not do their job because it's super infuriating to watch. So I'll just like kind of be like, it's okay, just give them a few minutes, give it a few minutes. And then I just get like actually furious. So then I'm like, okay, I have to do something. I got puppy diapers. So it's 8:49. You guys should do. What do you want me to do? What do you mean, what do I want you to do? Are you asking me that for real right now? Like that ass. Oh, I can't do that. No, 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 I can do the order. I'll take care of the order. Listen, right? I ain't lifting another motherfucker thing in this today. We're going to start a new segment called the chicken fire, just the beef. And the first cut is gonna be Colleen talking to me about how she's going to bust lip over nobody doing pre-closing in the front. Colleen is normally a very nice person. She can be extremely scary when she's mad. And she was very, very mad. Uh, evidently, Day hit it off with the TWS people and Liam w today in general love love him with all my heart uh was generally being a nuisance so it 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 just sort of worked out that colleen was uh not happy with what was going on you could have just told me to move it bro i didn't know it was up there something. what happened i'm not even gonna lie to i checked out today i was here but i wasn't my body was here physically but mentally i was in pain I ain't see it, it was out my eye vision. It was out the line of my eyes. I did not see it, Ian. Yes, it's frustrating when you guys keep sending out the wrong orders. Yes, it's frustrating when there's no vocal leadership happening and we just talked about that needs to be the case. Yes, it's frustrating when we're not following plans, when we're not following checklists, when we're not following policy processes, rules, and procedures that have been put into place to protect us from bad things that have happened to protect us from making the same harmful, damaging mistakes. That's frustrating. Our business, our company as it stands, suffers from a lack of accountability. People just cannot take it and understand when I'm addressing you about something you did, it's because you did it. You did it! It has nothing to do with me. Oh shit, still gotta scrub the sidewalk too. Oh my gosh, never mind. I'm gonna be here at midnight again. It's gonna be another long night, folks. I, guess I sounded so optimistic at the beginning. Oh, they got 30 minutes left? No, it's probably gonna be like an hour and a half because it's, 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 I still, I forgot about a bunch of stuff that I still have to do. Unless I can get one of these mother efforts to help, but we'll see how that goes. But it was a good day, all in all, like, it's our Sunday, a lot of people's week definitely drained them. So we have some people that are like being cooked and they're really not doing much, but it's okay. Uh, we're gonna get through, we're gonna close, we're gonna clean. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great.